Um, yeah, I'm a member of the first uh, University of Cincinnati Thorium Energy Alliance student chapter. So uh, our group, uh, we were able to do two senior design projects, uh, one involving the uh, DMSR decay heat removal system, and another involving the uh, primary heat exchanger for the DMSR. So um, we had the privilege of working on these, pro these uh, projects uh, through our involvement with Thorium Energy Alliance. So there, there are ways for uh, students at universities all over the nation to start student chapters themselves and, and uh, contribute to this uh, thorium energy movement. Oh, man, you're going to have to put your invoice in for the 20 bucks I owe you. That's a, that's a hell of an ad, buddy. I, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I feel like that was kind of, kind of crappy. But. No, we were, uh, we were just talking. We want to we wanna pick back up the uh, engineering so, oh, you don't want to be wired. Oh, uh, say what? No, I want to have, before you guys have your conversation. This is a voice oh, okay. recorder. Okay, it's like a wireless come on mic. Come over here for a second. All right. So anyway, uh, we're trying to start 22 chapters, basically in all 22 engineering, you know, nuclear engineering schools. And we're going to try and get a teacher in every single school to teach a molten salt chemistry and molten salt uh, class, you know, basically. Uh, uh, to build up, you know, get a bunch of you guys out there so eventually you infect the whole system and demand that uh, uh, we start doing that. So there's your, there's your hero there, Andre. He's, he's leading, the, leading the charge there. Yeah, that was really amazing. The University of Tennessee, they have uh, quite a program, it seems. I, I wanted to go there for, for nuclear engineering. I was, I was thinking about that. Uh, but, um, uh, well, with the economy, I decided to go with G Aviation. But, uh, yeah, they, they have... Um, uh, there's a lot of opportunity to just have uh, student involvement, especially because you know university funding. Uh, they let you go to conferences or, or um, uh, yeah. do like main, maybe miniature projects, like like the guy did uh, melting the. Uh, um, what, he he was melting some. Uh, the salt. Yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, his own like some iron skillet or his house. But. Oh, are you talking about the guy who discovered how to like uh, melt uh, aluminum, uh, aluminum oxide? Uh, uh, Oh, 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 like, a, oh, here, oh, from yesterday, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, 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 he's a, he was a chemist at uh, INL, that guy's a nut, man, if you ever see his, if you ever see his presentation, those are like the most, like, professional shots, he's got pictures of him standing, it looks like a, it, it looks like a mudroom where he has this oven, and he's standing there, you know, no, no eye protection, no, and he's like melting glass, and, God knows what else in like little pans and little little crucibles <laughs> and like it's just like the vapors are I'm like you don't even have like a range hood let alone a fume hood dude you know and so it was yeah he's a panic he's like and he's right we the one of the fellows from Google basically gave him the 500 bucks just to do those experiments it was uh, it was funny and he's like there you go I'm getting published work <laughs> So you guys got to do that at the university, see if you get in trouble. Yeah, and, and one of the, the aspects about uh, some of these uh, thermodynamic type uh, uh, projects is um, like if we build a CFD model, you need something to validate it against. So you have to do some kind of a physical uh, empirical setup and and um, uh, otherwise you have to base it off of correlations, but sometimes you don't have those for uh, uh, the uh, Drax loop or, or other yeah. kind of uh, decay heat system that, that we're trying to design for these reactors. <laughs> but, uh, so, yeah, well, he's been doing glass for a long time, and there's a whole, there's a whole list of like things you could learn from him about, like why is he so interested in glass, and why uh, the borosilicate, you know, the Pyrex did not work out, and that's a bummer because it did not. And uh, but uh, how about uh, Andrew Cawthorn? Uh, did he want to make it, or did he? I mean, did I just miss him? Over here, he's. Uh, I mean, he's kind of out by the elevator. I mean, that's, 